Hi! In this video, I want to continue reviewing our solution for just a moment that we got when we solved the problem of where x squared plus 2x minus 15 is greater than 0. And we came up with this graphical solution with answers of negative 6, 0, and 4 being our tests, our test solutions. And then we came down here and we tested each one. I want to show you one other way you can think of the testing. Oh, and also, I, I should have said, and I forgot in the last episode, is that this notation here is called interval notation. Okay. Now, since we know that, that x squared plus 2x minus 15, we're looking for when it's greater than 0, Notice that we know that it factors into x plus 5 times x minus 3, where that's greater than 0. So another th way you can look at this is when we check negative 6, we know that if we put in a negative 6 plus 5, that that's going to be a negative result. When we put negative 6 minus 3, we, don't even, we know that that is also negative. If you multiply two negatives, you know it's a positive number. So sometimes you can use, the, if it factors, you can use, use the way it factors to even do your checks more quickly. For example, let's look at our next check. Our next check was 0. And here we said, if you have 0 plus 5, 0 minus 3, you don't even have to calculate, you just know you have a positive times a negative, so you know that the solution is less than 0. And finally, when we checked 4, well, we knew that if we had 4 plus 5, that would be a positive result, and also if we had 4 minus 3, that's positive, and the product of positive numbers is positive. So you can use the factored solution to check just as well as if you had uh, calculated it like we did in the first one. All right, let's try another example. We're going to take a look at the problem of a solve x plus 1 over x minus 10. Uh, we'll try less than or equal to 0. There's two parts. Uh, we have to find the numerator. What we want to do in the numerator we want to consider x plus 1 when it's less than or equal to 0. And we can do that fairly easily. We would subtract 1 from both sides and we would say, well, it's x plus 1 is less than 0 whenever x is less than or equal to negative 1. So there's part of our, that'll be one of the numbers on our graphical solution. The other one is the denominator. And the denominator is, we're always checking the the denominator to 0 because if the denominator equals 0 the problem is undefined. So in this one we want to add 10 to both sides and we know that if we get a solution of 10 we know that we can't have a solution of 10. So now let's take a look at what we've done. If we create our number line Then, let's put our answers on. We have negative 1. Oh, put 0 on just as a reference, but it really doesn't matter. So we have negative 1, would be like right here, and positive 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there's 10. So we're going to be also looking out here past 10. So here's our three intervals. We have negative 1. Now, I'm going to do this in a different color. We'll use orange. 
notice that it's okay to have negative one as a possible solution. Because of that, instead of just using a circle, you actually put a dot to say that you can include negative one. Now, we need to check a value below negative one. Let's try negative two. And we need a value be between negative one and 10. Let's try zero. And at 10, since we cannot have 10 in the answer, we have to put a circle. All right, let's try our value. So let's see what happens at, when we're in the negative two range. Well, then we go back to our beginning equation. Let's see, x plus one over x minus 10. So then we go minus two plus one over x, whoops, not x, over uh, negative two minus 10. Well, let's see, that's gonna give me a negative one over a negative 12, which is really a positive one twelfth. And is that less than or equal to zero? No. So this is false. So we do not shade in that region. All right, let's check our let's check our next region, uh, zero. So when we have zero as a pos or in our middle in our middle interval, we have zero plus one over zero minus ten. Well, that's going to be the answer of negative one tenth, which is in fact less than or equal to zero. So this is true. And since it's true, we would shade the region between negative one and 10. And we should always check our last region as well. So let's try uh, 10, oh, let's try 11. Let's try 11 in this last region, 11. So when I have 11, I would go 11 plus one over 11 minus 10. This is going to give me 12 over one, which is just 12. And 12 is clearly, it's just not less than or equal to zero. So this is false and we don't, and we do no shading in this region. Okay, uh, let's try one more. Actually, I'm gonna stop there and in the next video, in the next video, we'll try one more new problem. We'll try this, solve. We will try solve x minus one over x minus three greater than or equal to negative two over x. Thanks for watching.